Hi, and welcome to Back to School Night. So a little bit about me is this is my 13th year at GW, and I love it here. Another thing about me is I love, love, love Disney. In case you're wondering what I look like without a mask on, there's a picture of me from Back to School Night of 2019. So in science this year, we will learn um, an interactive uh, science platform called Amplify. So this has a couple of components to it. So there is a hands-on component, which we will complete in class. There's also the workbook component, which you will see your student have is the workbook. And there is the Amplify platform, which is online. So they'll have access to all of those things. The best way to know what's for homework is Google Classroom. I have a very robust Google Classroom, meaning the homework, tests, quizzes, projects, anything we have going on will be on Google Classroom. As a matter of fact, in the event that your child is absent, it is more than likely everything they need can be found on Google Classroom. So what about books? We do not have hard copy books, but what we do have is the Amplify Science program. So like I said, that's a robust online program that has multiple components. So there's an interactivity about it, and you should hopefully see your student on the Amplify platform. So that's accessible via class link, and then the Amplify platform is a single sign-on right from there. Here's an example of the Google Classroom. So on the top right, you can see the um, due date. And then you can also see the video on the right. So there is a resource for your child uh, and the assignment on the left. So in the event that your child goes to open the assignment and they're not sure or they don't remember what we did in class, I will often attach a resource that can help them to be able to confidently complete whatever assignment they're working on. It may be in the form of a YouTube video. It may be in the form of uh, a glossary sheet, a PDF. It could be a Google slide. It might be just a reminder that says, no, think about you know, an activity that we did or look back to yesterday's assignment. So there will hopefully be something there for that will help your child. In the event that they are still confused, they can certainly set up an appointment for extra help via email. And I'll put my email up on the screen um, in just a moment. So grading, the grading will all be done on on course. So everything that they uh, need will be graded in on course. The expectations for class. So I don't expect anyone to be perfect, but I do expect that they are prepared to learn. So what does that really mean? It means that they have their materials, they come in with um, open mind, ready to go, well rested, just ready to engage in class. And what do they need as far as materials are concerned? They need their Chromebook. Hopefully it's charged. In the event that it's not charged, I do have outlets around the room, but they would need their charger. And they can certainly charge their Chromebook in my room. That way they can continue whatever assignment they're working on. Hopefully they also have something to write with. As I mentioned, we do have a workbook that they will be using from time to time. What happens if the Wi-Fi goes down or they are absent? So in the event that the Wi-Fi goes down, they can simply, or either the student or you, can email me and let me know that the Wi-Fi went down. If they're absent, as I had mentioned earlier, everything they should need will be on Google Classroom. But reaching out to me for extra help or clarification in the event that they're absent is certainly something available to them. So extra help is available, uh, potentially period nine, or if they can send me an email, we can look at our schedules and compare when our schedules line up to make sure they get the extra help they need. I'll put my email up in just a moment so that that's how to schedule uh, extra help. I hope for this year that our students can develop a love for science, have fun learning, and then they can be responsible students as they go through their time in middle school. The best way to contact me is via email, and my email is there on the screen. And thank you so much for joining me for our virtual back-to-school night. Have a wonderful day.